let's move on to class simulation in the next few tutorials. We have done uh, dynamic destruction a lot, so it's time to you know move on to something new. Uh, we have this animation here done by Professor Tova, and you can see this is basically a skate, uh, skating, dancing kind of like animation. Uh, we have a lot of a very nice movement, and they're also really strong. So we're gonna create a skirt for her. Uh, in this tutorial. So let's take a look at some of the presets or setup in Maya here. One of the things you do notice is that it's starting with 250 and that's actually a good thing because we can then have the previous frames be uh, used for the resting of the garment. So that's actually good. Uh, another thing you probably are noticing is that you have this uh, animation layer here. right? As you can see, this is here. Uh, so we're gonna merge all the animation layers. Right click, merge layers to merge all the layers, otherwise the baking could have some problem. Okay, so we just wanted to have, have things as simple as possible. Right? And then one more thing is we want to actually ex uh, export out this animation. And to do so, you wanted to actually grab all the models so let's see, the model will be geometry group, and you have the hair, so hair group. Just to make things simpler, let's just grab both groups and shift and right mouse button, we can do a combine. So we basically uh, just combine everything together into one mesh. Now hopefully, hopefully Maya will not complain, right? Uh, if we do this, we have a simple, a single geometry that we can just use to export our animation, right? So we're gonna grab this guy that we combine together and go for whoops cache and then alambic cache that we can go for export selection to alambic and then I'm gonna put it into my uh, download folder for now. And then oh, I'm gonna name this guy uh, dancing go right. And then time we need the time to go from start to end, uh, which is the time slider we're having now. I guess that's how much the animation is. So we're gonna stay with that. Step will be one. Basically, uh, we don't need to change anything actually. So let's go ahead and save it. It's gonna go through the process and cache everything out. All right, so the caching is done. It takes actually not that much time, but... Uh, uh, so let's go ahead and move on to our simulation two, which is Novel Designer. Now, the reason I don't choose to use Houdini is because it's, um, uh, it's actually a little bit more complicated and doesn't really give you that much advantage if you just wanted to go for a simple simulation like a skirt or you know even complicated ones. Uh, Marvel Designer is specialized specialized in uh, garment simulation and it, it does a really good job on it. It's so much more faster. I would say like 10 times faster than Houdini can handle. Uh, that's not because Houdini is slow it's because Houdini is more like for the super high realistic kind of kind of like simulation, and Marvel Designer is like like this more real uh, more real time approach. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do it, the simulation here. So go to File, and we're gonna import the Alembic, and we're gonna look for that. And the FPS will be 24, don't change that. And scale will be centimeters because that's Maya's unit. And that should be it, so hit OK. Now you can see our uh, character being imported with frame one. Right. So in case you don't know how this works, uh, first of all, to change the navigation, go to settings, user settings, and then view control, change preset to Maya. That should make your life much easier. So that this is exactly like Maya now, and this is exactly like Maya as a UV editor. Uh, okay, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a very simple skirt, and we can start simulating right away. So let me drag out a rectangular here, 
as you can see, that's how big it is. I'm gonna click and drag to move it here. I'm using this two here, right? And then, oops, press the E button to go back to transform part. I'm gonna transform it to make it center for the belt. Okay, drag it closer to the belly. Maybe even a little bit more center. And then I'm gonna hold it down W and click there to give it a pin. Do the same thing on this corner and that corner. Now when I look at it, I think it's too long, so I'm gonna make it shorter. Right. I can just W to disable all the pinning, right click, reset 3D arrangement to you know reset the shape. Again, one pin here in the middle by holding down W and click, one more here, and one more here. Now if you press the space button, it's gonna start simulating. As you can see, it's really fast. And you can drag uh, those little pins to wrap this guy around the waist. All right, it's like real time, like, it's like in real world sometimes it's just like you're dragging those fabrics around it's really really convenient so after that i'm gonna press the end button which is actually this two here called segment sewing i'm gonna click this edge and click the other edge on the other side you can see those um, lines here indicating that they're being sewed together so now if i press simulate it you can see they're gonna be actually sewed together i don't need those pins anymore so ctrl w to disable all the pins now you can see this part is basically now wrapping around the waist and it's too big so I'm gonna again press A button and click on it and just double click in this middle dot to reset the scale pivot to there and I'm gonna shrink it down so that it's shorter even shorter so that it, it's wrapping around the waist really nicely and I want it to be just a little bit bigger so I'm going to use the same technique I used earlier, just to make it just a little bit longer so it can fall down a little bit more. You can click and drag to tweak it. I guess I have to make it shorter to get rid of that. It's okay, I'm not really worried too much. Maybe make it longer here, down there. Alright. So it's a really thick belt. Anyway, maybe just a little bit shorter here. All right, enough of tweaking there. I'm gonna create the bottom part. So let me create a huge rectangular at the bottom. Whoops, maybe too huge. Press A and drag the corner to scale it down. Just move it to where it's supposed to be like in front of her. Right. And I'm gonna go ahead and sew this by pressing in. Click the bottom, uh, the top line here of this big rect rectangular, and click on the bottom of the top. Okay. Now make sure that this 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 little um, vertical line is on the same side, the left left side of those two lines. If they're in the offset side like this, you're having the reverse sewing, which is kind of wrong. But in case you did that already, you can Control B to uh, flip it right away, right? Now let's do a simulation and see how it looks like. Oops. As you can see, it's basically trying to wrap around the body now. Okay, so we're gonna spend some time tweak this. And let's see, I'm gonna use my pinning again, hold it on W and click here and drag this guy around pin there and drag it around do the same thing on the other side basically I wanted to be able to close it and let's see how feasible that is oops, it's too much <laughs> You can also control, uh, hold it on W and click to disable that pinning you created earlier. I think when I look at it now, I think it should be actually uh, longer in this direction. So let me actually sew them together here now. The W to disable the group, press space to simulate, make them close, and then make them, make them bigger by double click in the middle and drag the edge and then simulate it again. 
hopefully it's able to figure itself out. It's oftentimes quite stable uh, on all those tasks. So when that is actually penetrating a little bit, I have I, I can actually drag this edge up. So it's going up now and just drag it down again. Uh, maybe not that much to fix that. Okay. Now I have a cool little skirt on her. You can press L7 to check the pressure. As you can see, the pressure is still having a little bit on the lag. And because our animation is a little bit more complicated, it's having dramatic uh, movements. So I kind of wanted this to be as loose as possible. So I'm, I'm going to click uh, Alt 1 to go back and make this guy just a little bit wider. Let's see it one more time. And let's see it uh, Alt 7. And this is much better. Okay. So again, the red color will be high pressure, and green color will be more like a natural dripping. So let's Alt 1 to go back. All right, that's going to be it for this one. In the next one, we're going to add some little decorations on this skirt before we move on to simulation. Okay, see you next.